So I'm Andrew Craver with Great Expectations Realty, and you are? I am Krista Tarns with Fathom Realty. Okay, so so Krista and I have been, um, we've been talking for a while. We both have YouTube channels. We both live the Florida real estate lifestyle, but Krista is over in Orlando, and I am in Ocala. And so we keep comparing our markets and stuff. And um, sometimes there's, you know, we actually refer stuff back and forth because, you know, we love working with each other. So we figured it'd be fun for you guys, especially those that are coming down to Florida to figure out um, Ocala versus Orlando because it's so completely different. It's almost like another state, right? It's it is. In fact, I think we're in different time zones. Didn't we talk about that already? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was supposed to be at two. <laughs> I was gardening. I was like caked in sweat and mud. And you're like, okay, are we doing this now? I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I It was my mistake. But it's, yeah, it's true what you're saying. Like, I didn't even realize, honestly, that people were considering Orlando and Ocala in their home search. But obviously people from, you know, some other state are just looking for a home and they're, you know, it looks close, I guess, in the grand scheme of things on the map. Yeah. And so sure, why not? Uh, you are, I suppose, part of Central Florida, right? Do you consider yourself yeah. Central Florida? Yeah, we, we say Central Florida, but most people are like, you know, they just say Ocala and it's like, no, technically we are like, yeah, we're literally center of Central Florida. So yeah, why not? I don't know. I so don't, I don't know there's a better explanation for our area. <laughs> Well, I had a funny thing happen the other day. Um, I was getting my hair done and, and, and the, again, as we were talking about doing the zoom call, so I'm sitting there getting my hair done and like exchanging pleasantries with the woman who's doing my hair. Cause I don't know her. And you know, where do you live? Oh, well, I live here. Where do you live? Oh, okay, cool. And she goes, I would really like to live in the countryside. I am sick of this city life. <laughs> she goes, <"I'm> gonna <laughs> kill me. she goes, yeah. I would love to live in Ocala. But as a hairdresser, I need to live in an area where people care about how they look. Oh, oh and I go, yeah. Oh, what do you mean? You know, so like, so <laughs> wash dirt out of people's hair, and she's like, "Yeah, that's right." Ouch. <laughs> and then when you call, when I called you today about this Zoom call, and you're like, "I'm out gardening and I have dirt in my hair," I was like, "Yep, she was right." <laughs> Yeah, but I didn't go on the video with that. <laughs> I'm like at home on a Sunday. What do I care? Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. I am. That's, that's bad. We care what we look like. It's just not like, I mean, have you ever seen the Asians from Miami? Holy smokes. They, I think they wear like six inch heels to bed. I mean, right. like, oh my, but yeah, I'm like, I don't think I would fit in down there like at all. I'm and it's, I mean, it's a different, yeah, it's a different, it's also a different time zone, let's say. <laughs> it's almost a different country. I think they did want to split the state like halfway, but yeah. Oh, it's like, I mean, it's a different, different state, totally different area. Um, but yeah. Orlando, I think is probably actually, you know, the most similar, it just is like, it's a lot bigger. It's just, a, I mean, I don't think anybody realizes how big of an area it is. I mean, that's true and in thinking about again and thinking about this zoom call and preparing for it i was thinking like well orlando isn't even just orlando because you've got like volusia county seminole county orange county lake county osceola county like oh, i wonder which county i should talk about and then i can't you know i can't divide it up it's just yeah. all part of orlando people yeah. just tell me i want to be within x number of miles of disney <laughs> and that's how yeah <laughs> <laughs> i got you on that today because we had um passes we literally just gave them up last year and it wasn't because of corona we actually gave them up because like we asked the kids do you want to go to disney today you know you guys are off of school or whatever and they're both like meh i'm going y'all are spoiled rotten <laughs> <laughs> these tickets were how much how much those tickets set you back even with the florida discount they're not cheap and my kids we did that a few years ago and the and my kids were like crying and begging not to go anymore and i was like we're using these tickets they were money <laughs> yeah right i would literally go without them i have no problem with them. <laughs> oh yeah that's true I, I really enjoyed epcot i did yeah, yeah. i mean yeah it, yeah epcot especially yeah we had the four parks and my husband and i would go but um, yeah, especially the food festival. I mean, I don't know if you can really tell because I kind of hide it in the camera, but I'm a little fluffy. Um, <laughs> I don't care. But like the um, for Epcot, the food and wine festival. Oh my god, it's so good. Right? <laughs> so good. Yeah. Just 
yeah, it's it's great. So we go for like a date night or something. But oh, but you're how far? It's not that far of a drive from Ocala to get there. One hour and eight minutes to Disney parking lot. So I mean, and depending on where you are in Seminole County, you could take just as long to get there because you got to either get your way over to the 417 and pay a hefty toll the whole way to get down or go down I-4, which as soon as you get to Disney, it's going to take you an hour no matter where you're coming from because everything stops around Disney. I mean, yeah. not always, but it's it's pretty rough there as far yeah. as traffic goes. You're like, you're in the mouse house. I mean, I always think of like Disney basically like owning half of Orlando. Like, <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but you come over and there's like all this Disney mouse shaped like electrical stuff. lines and stuff. Like, yes. What is this? Or you can see Disney bushes, like mouse shaped bushes yeah. in, in people's yeah. yards around there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and like Disney's even at the airport like big time. I'm like, they own the airport and now they're getting what? a train. They're, you guys are getting the high speed train. So I'm kind of excited about that. The, um, what is it? Brightline? It was Virgin and then they try, changed over back to Brightline. But I'm excited about the high speed train. I will be coming over just for that. Great. I don't really we'll want there. to go to Miami on it, but that's where it goes. <laughs> so. Is this the sun rail now? It's not the sun rail. I don't know. I don't think it's called. No, it's a high speed train. It's supposed to get you from Orlando airport and it's got to stop that they're making in Disney Springs. And they've got okay. half of the track done from Miami to Orlando Wow. One stop in Fort Lauderdale and one in Miami. So I'm like super excited about it. Um, so if you're taking a cruise or something out of Miami, it's only going to be an hour for us to get over there. We put it in long-term parking and we can go take your, well, you know, once we have cruises again, but um, yeah, but it goes like right down where all the cruises are and stuff. So it's for us over here, it's a really big deal. Cause, but you could take your horse. You could just go horseback ride <laughs> down to it, couldn't you? <laughs> You are roasting me good. <laughs> we don't need any Like somebody said they have police that have horses. I'm like, we don't have that here. That would be should. way you too should. long. Because it's such a, like our area is huge too. We've got like over 1,700 square miles in Marion County alone. Wow. So it's like bigger than the state, but I mean, everything's bigger than the state of Rhode Island. So I don't know if that counts, but. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know even that much about Ocala other than um, we go up there for the National Forest and um, and my son likes to drive his truck really high, at, like really, I don't go along with him, but he, he and his buddies go up there with their like little trucks and they ride around in the forest and they have walkie talkies. Whoops, that's a telephone. They have walkie talkies so that they can talk to each other because they lose cell phone signal. Yeah, there's like a mud bogging thing out there and I don't know if this is like good or bad to say this but yeah there's actually like a big mud pit and people go and drive their trucks all in it and just completely see how much mud they can basically get yeah. on the vehicle it's really gross um but it's I mean it's a thing it's you know something to do so I mean but we do have we have a lot of stuff in Ocala um I mean not as much as Orlando but I would take it for um let's see we don't have the traffic that is definitely one thing that I would give to Ocala because yeah. I still I can't even tell you how many times I've been to Orlando I still do not understand I-4 at all but who can understand it when it goes like this and yet the directions are east-west I st every time I get onto I-4 right. I have I'm to like think Am I going towards Daytona or am I going towards Tampa? And what does that mean? Daytona is on the, oh my God. And I'm already on the wrong, I've already gotten on the wrong entrance to I-4 and I'm going yeah. the wrong direction because it is so confusing. Yeah, unless you're there at like six o'clock at night and then you've got plenty of time to ponder it because <laughs> the girl, oh, <laughs> freaking parking lot. Why can't like, it be north south? I have no idea. It is right? so weird. Like, like our roads, well, our roads get a little confusing because if our roads change, we change the name of the road, even though you're on the same road, but it we changes. That, yeah. So depending on what portion of the same road, it could be three different names. And then, you know, the name that we actually call it as opposed to what it is on the map really throws people off. But, um, but yeah, we name it according to what section. So if you say the actual part you know not only what road but what section of the road but you have to know it to know it like when we first moved here I had we were going to some sort of a picnic we got invited to and the directions just said take the b line and I was like 
what is the beeline? And I don't even, you know, it was, it was like the late two, like 2007 or something like that. And I, I, I tried Googling it, but I couldn't figure it out. We couldn't go to the picnic because I didn't know what road it was. <laughs> it has a number. That's the one that shows up on the maps, not the nickname. <laughs> yeah, well, it's um, what, 2021, and there are still sections of Marion County that will not show up on GPS. It, it, <laughs> it's pretty bad. What do you or, do? Do you say like, all right, there's going to be a pig farm on the left, and then I don't know. <laughs> what I do is I act, because I mean, normally it's right while I have like buyers behind me in a car, and I'm like, oh, great. So um, if I know it's one of those large sections where it says there's a road and the road does not exist um, and you just end up at a, just nothing, you know, trees and it's like right. Jumanji over here like crazy. Um, I actually look at like this. Um, I actually look at the whole entire map because it'll actually show that and it'll show like the street, stick to the big roads, like just stick to the bigger, yeah. and bigger roads is like, you know, two lanes or something, you know, just something like that. Like Marion Oaks is a huge subdivision out here. Thousands and thousands of houses. Wow. Um, I think all of it is now on GPS. Um, but before that it was come like, on Google, that's just slacking. Yeah. Right. I'm like, come on, this is not difficult, but no, it was, yeah, does it just doesn't, you know, it says it's a road that goes through and then there's like a house there and it's like, this ain't going through. <laughs> That's somebody's nope. living room. <laughs> <laughs> but the GPS told, I'm sorry, ma'am. I was just following the GPS. Oh, what are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? It would be really <laughs> awkward. <laughs> but yeah, if you look at the whole map. But you peel the magnet off the side of your car so that you can't tell you're a realtor. <laughs> I used to have a, a um, a bumper sticker that said if you're lost don't worry if you're following me don't worry you're lost too and <laughs> I thought it was hilarious to be in real estate because there's always somebody behind you following and yeah all they had to look at the whole time was my bumper sticker telling them how lost they were it's with so me. true it's so true we, people expect you to know everything in every subdivision in every county and I'm like there are like 10,000 different subdivisions and I haven't been in all of them. So if we go to a gate and I can't get into it, it's because GPS is taking me to the back entrance and we're going to have to figure it out from there. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely have, have that same issue. So I just basically wait for a car to go through and follow them. <laughs> That's the easiest way. I know. It's so easy. <laughs> yeah, everybody's like, oh, I'm in a gated community. Can I, are you, do you need access? Can I, I'm like, I'm a realtor. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm good. Through. <laughs> but the, I think the biggest, I guess our biggest, your biggest draw is obviously price because you are, I think, substantially less expensive than, than houses are in, in the Orlando area. Yes, we are. Yeah. You can still get a brand new cookie cutter, three bedroom, two bath, double car garage on a quarter acre lot in you know a really pretty neighborhood and um it's gonna be under two hundred thousand. so and that's like yeah are you serious <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but again I you know, so many people to send to you <laughs> <laughs> but again you know you got to think of like the jobs and stuff we're just now getting some of those higher paying companies and those higher paying jobs right whereas Orlando, you have a lot more job opportunities that are higher, uh, higher paying and, you know, whatever. So, um, I mean, but for people yeah. working from home now, yeah, that's what I'm getting a lot. Are you getting a lot of people that are like up in Manhattan yeah. and stuff? And they're like, well, I'm working from home and I will be for the next year or two. Yeah. So I'm going to work from home in Ocala or Orlando by the pool. Are you getting that? Absolutely. Absolutely. And it makes sense. The property taxes are so much lower. I mean, why, you know, you can get a bigger house, lower property taxes, much lower price, no state income tax and sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, sit by your pool and, you know, work online. I don't know. I would. <laughs> yeah. I mean, why, why would you sit in Manhattan, like quarantined into oblivion? I mean, they, there's a lot of places that they can't even still go for like a walk or something just because of either quarantine is so severe or because of the snow and stuff they've got. So yeah, I was, I was telling my husband, we should be really grateful for what we have because here it's just, we're not really having that, but. Right. 
I don't know, but anyway, but uh, yeah, I was um, trying to think of all of this stuff in Ocala that's just awesome. And, um, you know, we've got like horse capital of the world and we got the World Equestrian Center. So it's like, you know, the Disney for like horse people is basically. Disney for horse people. Yeah, it is. That's what they actually are calling it. It's like Disney World for horse people. Um, but yeah, you've got actual Disney World over there. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it can also be for horse people <laughs> yeah yeah I, yeah basically I'm not a horse person per se they are horse people are very different um they will not look at the house you're selling them they will look at the barn and pastures first yeah so like if it's got like this really amazing barn and it's got like a shack to live in they'll take it yeah they'll take it and I'm like Eh, I don't want to live in that. I don't want you to live in that. This is so but the bad. horses will be so happy. Yes, that's exactly. Those are horse people. Those right there. That's a horse person. Um, but yeah, the rest of us. Then there's like the horse pet people where they've got like an acre or two and they want a horse that's basically a pet. So it's kind of like dog people, but larger. Right. Yeah. But similar. But, yeah. The, very similar. Yeah. But those are basically like our buyers over here because it's just very rural. So yeah. you probably do not have that many horse people. <laughs> well, to oddly you. enough, as you're saying this, the first community that we lived in, in Longwood, Florida, was a gated and guarded community and it had stables in the middle of it. And so people could have a horse yes. in the community and they just had to pay to rent the stable. And then they would have like uh, pony rides or horse, ride, horse, you know, like little trot around the circle for the kids and stuff like that. A couple times a year, they had these little events. Uh -huh. It was really cool. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, and of course there are rural areas around, around central Florida, but not, I guess, to the extent of Ocala and certainly not with the price point that, that you offer there. So again, yeah. you're going to yeah. beat us on that account, on that count every time. Yes. But, um, I would say that one of the things Orlando has is um, the shopping is way better. <laughs> I mean, we, we're not savages. We have Publix. <laughs> we, have, we have the Walmart. Oh, I'm actually there. <laughs> the Walmart. But I mean, and we have one target in the whole county. It is a super target, sort of. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I have different sections of Orlando mapped out by where my favorite target is because there are differences. We have one <laughs> and we're very happy to have it. So we don't, we don't have Costco. Now does Amazon deliver to Ocala? Oh yeah. We actually have an Amazon warehouse that opened up uh, last year. So we actually deliver to you guys. So <laughs> um, yeah, we actually have a distribution center here now as of like March of last year. Okay. Um, so yes, it's basically, yeah. I mean, I like shopping local, but I don't like shopping. So no amazon amazon yeah i i absolutely love like just you know do you, oh, yeah i just yeah <laughs> i shop from my phone pretty much um yeah but and you yeah. can do that there so that's okay yeah. you have access to all the same stuff <laughs> yeah except for costco we don't have a co ever i've never even been in a costco or a bj's i've never been inside I, I have know. a BJ's nearby. I have a Sam's Club nearby. I don't have Costco, so I can't really compare either. I get maybe they're just not as I don't know. Everybody's not as frequent in Florida. I'm not sure. Yeah, it might be. Maybe that's what it is. Because we have a Sam's Club. We've got one Sam's Club and um, but we don't have anything past that. And what's that one, um, that one store, the one store that I really want. So if anybody is like watching this that has anything to do with it. It's like, do you a, have any pool? <laughs> <with that? laughs> do you have any pool with this store? What right, is it? Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, let's, let's get this. Um, I think it's more for like college towns. Cause there's one up in Gainesville, but it's this really interesting, um, like it's not whole foods. We don't have whole foods either, but, uh, <laughs> it's, I can never remember the name of it. It's like JB or, B, um, Trader Joe's that one. Yes. Why do I never remember the name? Trader it, took Joe's. While, it took me a while too, but we have those, we, ha we don't have enough. And the one that we have that's closest, at least to where I am, has the tiniest parking lot in the history of the world. It is so small that they had to set up a valet to take care of people because, I mean, it, it, it's just, it's, it's, it's absurd. Wow. That's like, that's a bonus in my mind. I'd be like, yeah, you can, that sounds very bougie. 
Um, it is. It's in a, it's in an expensive area, but it's like it's so frustrating going there um, because the t the parking spaces are tiny and you know it's just <laughs> it's worth it you know <laughs> because it's Trader Joe's so yeah exactly yeah so we go every time we go up to Orlando or to uh, Gainesville which is about 40 minutes north of us mm -hmm. we, it, we have to go to Trader Joe's which just it's a must um yesterday my husband brought back like frozen popsicles from there and they were actually still okay so I guess you can bring out frozen food <laughs> but uh, yeah <laughs> like when you need to or you can actually make it to Trader Joe's there so yeah but yeah we don't have one in Ocala um mostly it's public do you guys have over there I haven't really paid attention but do you guys have golf cart parking at all your publixes well no because not every area is a golf cart zone so you'd be driving down like a major road to get to the Publix. I haven't noticed any with golf cart parking now where I live it is a golf cart zone but we don't have a Publix so okay so maybe some so depending on where they're at but yeah we've got i would say quite a few of our publixes have the golf cart parking which oh that's cool not really everybody just parks their regular golf cart parking so <laughs> i'm like that's that wrong, wrong. <laughs> so, do you have a golf cart do you use a golf cart me no i no um you i'm parking not, the golf cart spots <laughs> <laughs> no but i laugh at the ones that do <laughs> like rebel without a cause <laughs> yes <laughs> but uh no because we're really close to the villages too like you know as far as like it's part of our county is the villages i so, see um so there's that but we also like the other publics and stuff are quite a few of them by 55 plus communities so um they kind of put the publixes right where you can actually get to it from the 55 plus. i think it was definitely intentional yeah so, right yeah you know so they can actually go up and get what they need and then it opens the door for you know thousands more people to stop in so yeah i mean it's smart but it's fairly common over here so it's kind of curious but yeah, a lot of people get really excited about their golf carts over here. Like really, they get them like all decked out. They have like BMWs and um, they've got like, you know, the, uh, I don't know, just the, hi, the Lexus as a golf cart. And they just, I mean, all this aftermarket stuff all over it. They have golf cart shows down in the village. It's just crazy. So <laughs> yeah, it's. <laughs> We we have that where I live also. It is a golf cart zone and they have like golf cart parades and you you decorate your golf cart. I also live near a big lake, so we have boat parades at Christmas and you decorate your boat and just go around in a circle of the lake. Never tried it, have not managed to do that yet. I did I think I did the golf cart thing once, but the problem is our golf cart is from like 1988 and it's gas, it's no, it's electric and it's so slow. I I wouldn't even be able to keep up with the golf cart parade. I'd be like, wait. So <laughs> <laughs> those yeah. gas powered ones are really fast but not mine <laughs> i don't know yeah i mean they can get going they have golf cart accidents fairly frequently down in the villages um <laughs> there's a newspaper for the villages not the actual newspaper like the official one that's always lobby da and everything's lovely no we read the actual one from somebody that lives in there and he has his own newspaper and it's freaking hilarious oh that um, sounds interesting <laughs> you, you gotta have a link for that we gotta see that. It's so good. We just sit there where like two golf carts collided and you know this serious head-on collision and somebody got thrown from the golf cart. And I know people could get hurt, but it's freaking hilarious. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> They're pretty easy to roll over too. <laughs> oh yeah, and the ones that get DUIs. <laughs> sorry. It's just so funny to read. My husband and I'll just sit there and like freely. But yeah, they do. They just recently came out with a movie about um, the the lifestyle in the villages. And there's a movie about this, a real movie. A real movie just came oh. out. It was like a Sundance Film Festival type thing, but they actually had it playing at the Marion Theater. So I mean, there yeah. are all kinds of uh, rumors about the villages. They're all true. <laughs> That's totally true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't go down there that often. I do go down there to like um, visit and walk around or like Sumter Landing. Um, they play music and you can, 
I mean, it's really, really cool. Um, bring the kids down for a day and just, you know, like to visit because it's got some great shopping down there and everything right. too. But actually live there? No, no, <laughs> not going to happen. Do you I, sell there much? Do you go to the villages? Um, well, we were um, barred from selling down there for a couple of years because I had all of the villages refugee agents, um, but all of that has timed out. They had they have a very, very, very strict um, policy, oh. which now they're getting sued for. But um, they actually had a very strict non-compete policy where the agents literally could not sell hardly anywhere in the area or in Florida with their license um, if they worked for the villages and it was for two years. Um, so I had a few agents that oh my gosh. and it wasn't, it's not just them. It's nobody in the company can sell in the villages while those people are, are with us. Yeah. It's, it was crazy. And so wow. That inspired. Um, so those agents are now going back into the villages, but there for a while, yes, we were actually the refugee camp for the, the agents in the just made a lot of so jokes about it. Yeah. They really yeah. protect their, so they're protecting their own agents. So you can't, you can't, you'd have to do it by referral if you wanted to sell there. Is that the developers the point? of the villages are the, they are the real estate company down there. The villages is not oh. just a city. It's, it's a development. Oh, um, oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> they are actively huh. selling real estate. The owners of the villages are actively selling real estate um, down there, and they do not want um, somebody that leaves. They're they're just out of luck. They're not. Wow, I never heard of that. And nobody in the brokerage can either. So kind of crazy. Yeah, there's like a lawsuit going with them and everything, but doesn't matter to us. Our time has expired, so we have actually started working back in the villages again. Um, and now I've got agents that know it like the back of their hand. So oh, that's good. Yeah. It doesn't bother Stick me. To them. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right, let's go. <laughs> so, it's like your, your time is up. Your sentence. <laughs> so, that's yeah. That's we a- can now. <laughs> it was, it was wild. It was the craziest thing I ever heard, but you know, it was like, okay, let's, let's just hold this out and we'll see what happens. But yeah, but that is, that's a whole nother area. That's a literally, that's not even really part of Ocala to me. That's like the villages is like its own thing. It is completely different. Um, and it's literally just the bottom tip of our county. Whereas um, for us up here, it's like, you know, just more rural. Um, yeah. There's a lot like we're used to you know, agricultural zoning and we're used to USDA loans like crazy and stuff like that. Whereas, you know, like going into Orlando, you're just not going to have that quite as much. I don't, you don't, it's very much on the fringes, um, and on the outskirts. And you, you really have to look carefully because like part of one street might be USDA and then it's not anymore because it's just, their map is very specific. You can look it up and you can, research it if a house that you're interested in does qualify for USDA, which is 100% financing. So you don't have to put down any uh, uh, money on your loan. You have to pay your closing costs still, but it is 100% financing, which is a great, great uh, loan if you can get it. It's just not available as much around here. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it is, it's, you know, it's great. We, but we like 90% of our area that we service is actually USDA eligible. (laughs) We're in the six. (laughs) Very telling. That right there. (laughs) We are. Now I understand. Rural development. (laughs) Yeah. That's cool. It's it's different. But like, if you ask me about condos, (laughs) no condos. Sorry. (laughs) No, we don't go up. We go out. (laughs) Right. You got too much territory to cover. There's no point to go up. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it would be like, you know, if somebody wanted like the top floor of a condo, I'm like, well, you have bottom floor and second floor and those are your options. There's nothing, there's nothing out here past that's two stories. Two on the second floor. But, yeah. Oh, we forgot to talk about one thing that's really important about Ocala. Okay. John Travolta. We do. We have, yes. Yeah. <laughs> tell us, tell us about your encounter <laughs> with him, where you tackled him to the ground and said, I want an autograph and a photo. I did. Yeah. Well, like everybody in Ocala, I think has met him at this point or his family or probably both. Um, you can run into him all over town. Um, especially like his wife, you would normally, you know, before she passed away, you would have found her at target like daily, I think. Um, but 
Target because there is only one. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not like there's lots of choices. <laughs> But no, um, no, I actually met him at Starbucks over at Barnes and Noble. So, um, but he does a lot of things at night and I'm not a night person. So it took me living here like a decade before I ran into him. And um, he probably still thinks of me as some crazy fan person because I had been telling my grandfather for a freaking decade that I was going to meet John Travolta and I was going to get a picture with him. And my grandpa had been teasing me for like a decade. He's like, oh, have you seen John yet? Have you run into John? And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. So the second I got a picture with him, I was like, thank you. I've needed this for about a decade. And he's looking at me like, okay. <laughs> no, you don't, Never mind. It's fine. Thank you. So <laughs> There's a backstory. <laughs> he was there with his daughter. She was like super nice, but she didn't really like seem like she wanted to get in with pictures and stuff. So I'm like, okay, cool. But um, yeah, so I got the picture. The first person I sent it to was my grandpa. I'm like, I freaking told you so. <laughs> he does live here. He and does live here also. and I met him. <laughs> so yeah, no, he like everybody's got a John Travolta story. Everybody has, I think, honestly, everybody's met him. You'll run into your hairstylist. She'll be like, oh, I did John's hair. You I know, watched the out of John Travolta's hair. Like, well, at some point, you know, so I mean, everybody's run into it because they've just been here, a part of our community for I don't know, like 15, 20 years. So, um, and you're very protective of him, which I think is sweet. So we, are. we yeah, we don't approach him unless he like, you know, seems like he's okay with that or whatever. You're not supposed to make a big deal. Even if you're like totally geeking out and, um, you're just supposed to be respectful of him. It's like an unspoken law over here, um, that you want to try and do that. And the other law is if you're at Publix or the Walmart, and you see something nasty about him or his family on any of those rag magazines, you're supposed to flip them over. Okay. So if you're ever removed from the store completely, you just, no, I'm mean, like, I like you just, if it's really bad, you buy them all. <laughs> just no, but no, no, you're supposed to like you know, hide that because you know what? His family, they live here. They're going to see stuff like that. I mean, can you imagine if it was your kids and they're seeing like this crazy stuff written about their parents? That's horrible. Right. So, you know, they just don't take into account. This is a real person. This is a real family. So yeah, if you're over, yeah, if you're over here ever, you have to flip the magazines over if they're not nice. Um, but if they are kind, then you can leave them alone. But yeah. Very good. It's a, it's a law. <laughs> so now I'm presuming that he does not live in a home that was under $100,000. So there must be some higher end <laughs> or under 200000 or whatever you said. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, you guys probably have like a whole slew of houses that are like multi-million dollars and like just right. crazy beautiful and all of that. Um, we do have like, especially with the horse communities um, and the aviation communities, we have a lot of houses that are on actual um, runways or right next to um, plane runways and that right. is he's a big, big fan of flying. So um, one of our communities is called Jumbalair. Um, and it was actually, they used to, I think they used it to bring in an elephant at one point. So it actually got the nickname that way. It, yeah, I can. <laughs> we, we, um, move a lot of animals. <laughs> There's still a lot of horses that get flown in actually probably more so now than ever, uh, with the world equestrian center, but yeah, so he lives in a very prestigious gated community called jungle air and, um, you can't touch it, anything in there for less than a million dollars. Um, but yeah, I, I keep trying to, you know, get an invite in there or something, but it hasn't happened yet. So, you know, still, still waiting. Um, but no, there are a lot of um, expensive homes with acreage and stuff here. Um, sure. I think the most expensive one on MLS right now is about $9 million. Oh, well. Um, yeah. So we do have that stuff. Not everybody doesn't care about their appearance. Like some people do. <laughs> We're just a little more down to earth. <laughs> right. That's a good way to put it. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> We're you can have the Miami good. price, but you might be wearing mud boots. I, yes, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the, high hear, the stilettos are going to get stuck in the dirt. Oh, can you imagine out. mountains showing these farms Your and stuff? Like, yeah. No, I can't imagine going out there in stilettos showing these farms. It's just. No, that would be. Break yourself. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, I mean, what do you wear when you're out showing houses? Like you're in Orlando, you're a big city, like intimidating. I mean, the main thing, the main thing for me is that it's always so hot that it's really hard to 
maintain looking nice because you know you're jumping in and out of the car you're getting from ac to heat back to ac and so sometimes you know you try to look professional but it's uh, or, or then it starts to rain and you've been out showing houses and it's pouring down raining and your hair is now soaking wet like uh, I don't wear shorts to show houses unless unless it's like the 10th time I'm out with somebody and we don't care anymore because we've just been beat out on so many houses that we're trying to make offers on at that point it's okay whatever <laughs> but <laughs> so probably about the same that I mean I wear um sandals a lot because those are fairly easy to to deal with um not a huge fan of of heels but you know I wear sandals a lot and then um there's these little golf skirts that are, I've just fallen in love with because they have shorts built in. Yes! I mean, yeah. they don't look like shorts, but there's like a pair of shorts built in under, oh, it's great for the sun. And you need those because every now and then you get to a house and you end up having to crawl through the window or some such nonsense and the shorts are useful. You've done that. I'm sure you've done that. I know I've done that. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, I have. I totally have broken into houses before. Especially well, during the recession. I mean, it happened when a it lot. was foreclosure land, and when it when, when okay, let's let's backtrack. When it was foreclosures, right? People would regularly, if they, they somebody would find the house they liked, it was always that coded lockbox that anybody can open. You don't have to be a realtor. People would either steal the key or just remove the lockbox altogether. So you'd walk around the house looking for a window that was open, so you could show the house to your client, and you'd yeah. end up having to shimmy your way in through something under a garage door or whatever. I yeah. totally have done this before countless times. I actually am very good at, at getting into houses. I had full permission to go into the houses. It's just, they like, sometimes they would give you the wrong code and then you can oh, yeah. of them. Or the key doesn't even work. Or, or I, I've broken a key off in a lock before because it was... <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, but when, you're, when, you're, when your sellers get home, uh, they're not gonna be able to get in. Uh, gotta go, bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. It just snapped. I don't know what it did. It's the heat. I don't know. I don't know. It really sounds like there's not that much of a difference between, you know, what you're, it just sounds like it's mostly the real estate. I mean, if you're looking for like more of a city and more city life, because we do not have an after hours over here, nine o'clock, the city shuts down. <laughs> so, By law. Maybe downtown on the square, there's a couple restaurants, but honestly, I mean. <laughs> If you want to go out past 10, forget it. Nope. No. So you're gonna wind yeah. up in a golf cart accident if you're out that late, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe me. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but yeah, I mean it's just basically city life versus country life. I mean, it's really, yeah. you know, that's that's what like that's why my husband and I are here. We just really wanted, you know, that kind of country feel and you know, small town but still have the amenities and stuff. So that's why we chose Ocala, but you know, if I didn't have kids or if I had a job, you know, that was different, I'd probably pick Orlando just because there's a lot of stuff to do and it's a little more exciting and, you know, more options. Um, there's right. not as many options out here. So yeah, I guess it just depends on city versus country basically. Or budget or budget again, back to budget because. You're really excited about the lower. <laughs> I, I, no, I, because, because that like that lovely client that I sent to you where we met, um you know her budget was what was it two 200 or something like that yeah, 200 and I'm like yeah okay no problem and you're like oh. yeah I was like uh, forget it so <laughs> yeah because she wanted new construction I'm like yeah sure we can do that you know here's a slew of houses that you know she can pick so yeah um I think that, even it, like the new like the larger builders and stuff um they're right around 200 to 30 um, so like DR Horton, Reed Homes, Armstrong, all of that, they're building like a lot of communities out here and that's basically their price point. So I mean, I showed DR Horton in Seminole County yesterday and you, the lowest price I think they had was 275 and that was for a three, two called an Alex, which I think is one of their common models. It was a single story home. Okay. So yeah, you can get a four bedroom, um, decent sized four bedroom over here for that. So yeah, well, it's, then the, it's not it's that's not that much of a difference but that's a national home builder so their prices yeah, should be fairly comparable gated community with a pool and all of that right. kind of stuff I mean that's just it's a little different um but you know a lot of people really really love that so you know whatever um but yeah there's a lot of builders that are building for right around 200 maybe a little less um over here so yeah you know but land is a lot less expensive over here we have yeah. land 
we don't have Costco. <laughs> so, it's a trade-off. It is. It's a trade-off, but we have John Travolta. So that's, that's, that's our I mean, so that's really the list, I guess. Yeah, Travolta really land versus nightlife and Disney. Yeah. <laughs> is about Disney. Do not forget the mouse. He's awesome. That's so right. We, we visit, we just don't live there. So how long does it take you to get to the beach? Like it takes uh, an hour and a half. Oh, okay. oh really? Your pleasure. Yeah, it takes about an hour and a half for us, um, depending on which one you go to. It's like same distance both ways. So oh, okay. you can go down to Tampa, it's about an hour and a half um, to like St. Pete Beach. And then if we go to like Ormond, it's maybe an hour and 15 minutes. We actually have a mall. We have an indoor and an outdoor and that's it. Um, but you guys have like Mall of Millennia Mall or Mil Mall of Millennia? Mall, Mall, Mall of Millennia or uh, Florida Mall. I mean, countless, um, uh, what are they called? Outlet malls. Okay, yeah. So your shopping is phenomenal. Like seriously. We have you like Ikea. And have like, you could go to like Louis Vuitton, right? And go yeah. to Apple. Well, yeah, no, not here. <laughs> you could um, order online. <laughs> <laughs> or go to Orlando <laughs> but yeah we don't we don't have that would be mall millennia for the for the bougie stuff <laughs> no our our mall has um Vera Bradley that's oh that's yeah. good yeah we have more we got a Yankee candle we're kind of excited about that oh. <laughs> anyway all right well I uh, thank you I know you're gonna go out and help some buyers so I appreciate Correct the video and um we will just go ahead and keep helping our customers back and forth but if you guys are looking for orlando i will definitely be sending you to krista and she does vice versa with me so um just kind of wanted to let you guys know what options you have down here in case you're considering city versus country basically <laughs> that's basically it that's what it comes orlando. down to <laughs> yeah that's what it comes down to orlando versus socal is it's city versus country is essentially it so thank you so much krista i appreciate it thank you this has been fun